moral and spiritual, education and training, work and livelihood, sports and recreation, health and welfare, and behavior modification. These are the six reformation programs currently being implemented in Bilibid. More than mere ink on paper, these programs are the only lifelines remaining for many inmates, providing a stepping stone for their eventual rehabilitation. Let's give each program a face and some real stories of success and inspiration. A small market, a hospital, schools, a bait shop, That's basketball. recreational facilities, and places of worship. All these are part of the reformation programs for the inmates under the supervision of Bucor. Some were established with financial help from support groups. Most are from the pockets of the inmates themselves. These programs serve as a jump board from which they kickstart their lives. For Pastor Mel, his new life began when he found God. Sa isang inmate na katulad ko na nasentensya ng death penalty, our only hope is God. Kasi yun na lang yung tanging pag-asa namin ng humingi kami ng tulong sa Panginoon. At bigyan niya pa kami ng second chance na mabuhay kami uli. Nung ako po'y mag, maging maborn again, minago po lahat ng Panginoon yung aking personality. Ang tao na sa Diyos ay laging dapat na masaya. Amen! Now, he shares this discovery with his fellow inmates as a pastor in their church. Pastor Mel has already served his sentence, but continues to fulfill his mission. For alias JM, his love for sports gave meaning to his stay in Bilibid. Sobrang binago po kami ng reformation dito. Um, lalo na sa sports, lahat ng ano, ha, malilibang po kayo. Now, he wants his mother to see how he has become a changed man, repenting for his sins. Like JM, alias Henry also found his niche in sports. He was among the pioneers in using sports to gradually instill peace and harmony in Bilibid through sportsmanship. Unti-unti ko silang kausapin tungkol sa sportsmanship, kaya yung manggulo o umayaw, talo. Makukuha ng kalaban, yung bayad. Mula po nung ginawa ko yung ganun, natatapos na namin ang mga basketball games. After more than two decades of imprisonment, he only has one plea to people outside Bilibi. Silipin niyo naman po yung aming prison record jacket na tinatawag namin dito ang karpeta namin na nagpapatunay na marami po kaming ginagawang maganda sa reformation program ng Bureau. Materials needed natin dapat gagalin namin. Marlon Caber is a teacher in the Department of Education's Alternative Learning System or ALS inside Bilibid. Life inside Bilibid and the Reformation Program also taught many things to this teacher. Marami ang uh, binago ng ALS sa akin. Natuto kong uh, magpakumbaba, Yan, yung tumanggap ng mga pagkakamali. Yung pride, kailangan tanggalin. At naging ano, napalapit ako sa Panginoon. At the medium security compound, inmates can finish their education. From preschool up to college and earn a degree following standards set by regular schools. Ang main goal ko po talaga nung mag-aaral ako ay eh, yung baguhin ang sarili ko. Pinilit kong mag-strive academically, pinilit ko pong maging maayos, yung walang huwag makakumit ng violations. His co-inmate Archie Bueno was able to discover his talents inside Bilibid. Though he admits the stigma for prisoners will always be there, he remains hopeful. Hindi lahat ng tao na nakakulong o nakulong 
ay tuluyan na nagiging masama. Kundi marami pa tayo dito magagandang bagay na pwedeng gawin. Kahit papano sa mga ginagawa natin, ay nagbabago ang tingin ng tao sa atin. Even for teachers like Miss Clarice, adjustment took some time. Until it goes on, so um, parang nakikita ko yung work ko is worth it. Marami kasi akong naging estudyante na naging successful na sa labas. In certain cases, talented inmates catch attention even from outsiders. Such is the case of the Kulay group of artists. For its members in the maximum security compound, art became a life changer. It showcased their skills while helping them extend financial support to their families. Isa sa vision namin is yung may share namin yung mga talent namin sa kapwa namin inmate. Kapag pumasok ka na dito katulad nitong arts na to, wala kang ibang masasayang na oras. Diyan po kami na ano, umaasa sa pagtulong doon sa mga pamilya namin. The tutelage from their advisor was also a key factor in their success. Yun, malaki ang pagbubago. Pinawakan ko sila hanggang sa na-develop ko lahat. Uh, yun, masasaya na sila, naging productive sila. Yung mga paintings nila naging saleable na. In fact, they have an exhibit at the main office of the Social Security System or SSS in Manila. It was in 20, the year 2012 when the Kulay Art Group start, started staging its art exhibit here at the SSS Gallery. It is our, our way of uh, promoting art in our country and in, the, and in promoting uh, reformation. Another inmate artist who experienced life transformation is Ariel Cabiluna. He is well known for his talent in pyrography or wood burning. Sinasunog po sir. Sinasunog? Bagong diskubre po ng medium ng art. Ang galing ha. Kano katagal mo ginawa yan? Four days po yata. Four days? Malaki po ang nabago. Una, natuto akong Ruiz Pito sa sarili ko, sa kapwa. Natututo po akong umunawa, umintindi sa mga bagay-bagay na hindi dapat. At natuto na rin po akong maghanap buhay para sa pamilya. He has a lot of orders and even made a piece for Pope Francis himself. Now, he is imparting his knowledge to fellow inmates. Ay, hindi po po talaga huli ang lahat. Habang may buhay, may pag-asa. Just like Ariel, a lot of inmates also found meaning in their imprisonment while being of service to others. For Emilio Tolentino, it's in the NBP hospital. Kaya po ako napunta dito para makatulong po ako sa mga doktor, uh, nurse, mga nurses po, saka mga inmate, uh, inmate patient. The same is true for Noel, the head of Bantay Kalusugan. Kami po yung nag a ng mga may sakit para madala sa ospital. Mabigyan rin ng agarang lunas yung mga kasamahan namin na may sakit. This is part of the Bucor's Health and Welfare Reformation Program. Regardless na may deficiency kami, we still have to continue to function as one especially during emergency cases because it's our function to treat these patients. JV Medalia is an inmate leader who, despite the initial struggle with his imprisonment, turned it into an opportunity to create something productive. The main purpose of Big Shop is to train inmates on the skills of how to make a tinapay, a baker, Pangalawa, uh, to have a source of livelihood para meron silang income kahit konti. And then third, uh, para mabigyan ng sustainability yung program ng foundation. Now, he heads the bake shop, creating a life change not only for him, but also for his fellow inmates working at the shop. So we taught them to work here. Plus, nakadevelop pa sila ng mga bagong skills. Nagkakaroon sila ng income na tutulungan nila yung family nila. Engineer Warren Singapan spends his time in the one-stop shop Kaagapay Center. 
assisting his fellow inmates in their various needs. Ang Kaagapay po is basically an assistance center na nagbibridge ng gap sa mga inmates at sa ibang offices like the Bucor and government, other government offices na nasa labas. He uses his education and skills in working with other inmate volunteers to help their fellow inmates cope better with their circumstances inside Bilibid. Yun po ang basic purpose ng opisinang ito, to serve yung mga uh, needy inmates to facilitate kung ano man po ang kailangan nila, in particular sa mga reformation programs ng Bureau at sa iba pang mga aspeto ng kanilang maagang paglaya. In the lives of all the inmates who share their stories with us, certain unifying themes pop out. Repentance, change, and hope. Hope for freedom, and hope for the society to treat them not as monsters to be feared, but as corrected people who went to jail for punishment, and there found a new life and a second chance. While undeniably, there are those who still commit mistakes, there are the game changers and real life changers whose life attests that indeed, change is the only thing constant in this world. Bigyan nyo kami ng pagkakataon, mapatunayan namin na kami nagbago. Ang Pasko sana, hindi lamang eh, Uh, para sa malayang lipunan, kundi para rin sa mga bilanggo. At malaking bagay na mabigyan ng pardon o executive clemency ang mga inmate na matagal na rin nagdurusa at pinagsisihan ng kanilang ginawa at nais nila makasama ang kanilang mga pamilya. Marami pong mga positive na mga gawain na nangyayari dito araw-araw. Uh, karamihan po ng mga inmates na nagpa-participate sa various reformation and rehabilitation programs ay nagsusumikap po na pagbutihin ang kanilang sarili. Turning the inmates' idle time into something more productive is just one part of the rehabilitation process. On the other end is the goal of preparing them for the eventual reintegration into society. Of course, All these would not be possible without help from the outside. This, when Game Changer returns. Midas Hotel and Casino, a contemporary, design-led lifestyle hotel in the majestic hub of Manila with fabulous views of sunset on the bay. Midas offers designer amenities and guest rooms and suites, supreme restaurant options for sumptuous enjoyment, event studios for corporate meetings and vows, and a casino with world-class gaming. Here at Midas, we make days into moments. Sparkling creativity, it's stylemanship by Midas.